Hi there, good afternoon. Welcome to Chesky Budajovice, if I'm saying that right, which I am probably not. So, my hotel is one block that way. That is the central bus station, main train station right there. So great location and a very good price on the room there. As you saw, then uh, it is outside uh, bathroom. It is actually shared with somebody else in another room right in that little hallway there but uh nice clean place perfect location fast wi-fi it had good reviews and it will do the trick for the purposes of my uh being here which is in large part to visit chesky krumlov which is about a 30 minute drive away now i was planning to stay there but uh, I was on the train coming from Pilsen today and was checking accommodation and it was more expensive in uh, Chesky Krumlov and I just wasn't quite finding a place that I liked so much and I realized that uh, this would be a good place to stay, both because it's also supposed to be a very nice city. I can just pop over to Chesky Krumlov for the day, and also it will be easier when I leave and journey onwards to just uh, pop over to the train station right there and catch a long-distance train to wherever I go next, which I'm not sure where that will be yet. So a map of the city, looks like we are here. Train station, bus station, my hotel. We're now going to walk down this uh, nice looking street into the old town, the King Autocar Main Square. See some of the sights around there? So the uh, city here is the confluence of the Voltava River, which I showed when I was in Prague, and the Malsa. And then heading that way, it looks like. Also, this is the home of one of the most famous beers in the world, Budweiser or Budvar. So, I am from the United States, where Budweiser is the most popular beer as far as I know, not sure of the latest numbers, but uh, pretty much the most uh, famous American, in quotes, beer, because it is not an American beer. It is Czech from right here, but somebody in the 19th century basically decided to make the Budweiser beer in uh, America, and ever since then there has been a series of legal disputes over the name, which I guess have been kind of resolved in that uh, they agreed that the real Czech Budvar beer can be sold throughout Europe and use the name, and the American Budweiser can only be sold in like North America, something like that. So, in the interest of honesty, as I already mentioned in a previous video, I do not like Budweiser beer. I've had it in the U.S. It just tastes almost like water to me. And so, as I showed on a train a few days ago, I tried the Budvar, the real Czech Budweiser beer, and it tasted pretty much just the same to me as an American Budweiser. So, uh, I just prefer, whoops, here I am walking the wrong way down the uh, bicycle lane. I am a, a beer connoisseur, so to speak, not in any sort of technical sense, but uh, I am picky about my beer, basically. And I just like other types of beer. Amber, stouts, red ales, especially Hefeweizens, unfiltered beers, and the typical lagers and pilsners aren't 
so much my preference. But I'm sure that a cold Budweiser on a hot day on the beach would be better than nothing. All right, looking forward to seeing the uh, old town. It is going to get more beautiful and interesting very shortly. 1265. That is the year that the city of Chesky Budovo... Oh man, Budajovice... Budajovice, however you say it, was founded by King Ottokar. Very bizarre style of statues here. Does that represent the bored business people, something like that? That's what it looks like. They got their laptops and briefcases looking grumpy. I'm killing time right now while waiting for the uh, walk sign to go. Figured might as well show some of the local uh, events and whatnot. All right, it's gotta happen soon. There we go. So today is April 25th. And it is flipping cold. 45 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 8 degrees Celsius. We're having quite a uh, polar spring. Apparently, all of the fruit trees in the Czech Republic have died or whatever, you know, lost their uh, flowers because of the cold snap that has been happening for the whole eight, nine or so days that I have been here in the Czech Republic, but tomorrow that changes. Luboka, that is a spectacular looking castle. Chesky Krumlov is where I mentioned that I will definitely be uh, going to probably tomorrow. Lots of little villages, I'm sure more castles, a lot to see here in South Bohemia. The Czech Republic is divided into Bohemia in the west, Moravia in the east, and also Silesia. So I'm going to attempt the uh, name of the town again, Chesky Budajovice. So Chesky means Czech. Budajovice means basically the village of the Budor people. So the village of the people of this area. It is the largest uh, city in the region. All right, we got to Latin again. Roman numerals, MCMXII. All righty, M1000, C500, M1000, again, 13. So 2013, something quite new. And then, definitely older, by the looks of it. Very hard to read between being faded and I guess that's the Czech language, but really not sure. So I get the sense that uh, Czechy Buda Jovice is going to be very similar to Pilsen, which I went to yesterday and made a video tour there. So they're similar sized cities similar layout by the sounds of it, and they both have a 
huge square, a cathedral, and a brewery. So the uh, Budweiser brewery here is a little ways away. So I'm not sure that I will make it over there today in the course of this uh, video tour, but most of the uh, sights to see are in the center here around Atakar Square. This might be it up ahead. So yes, that is the square. And another similarity with Pilsen is there is a massive tower that you can take the steps up. Looks like this must be it. Let's see if that uh, clock is correct. 4.15. Well, it's a little fast. 4.11. Jan Valerian, interesting. You're sick, Valerian, like Valerian root that helps you sleep. Okay, another little doorway into the tower. Whoa, this is really cool. Okay, English, April, May, June, July, August, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. 60, that is about $3. Let's do it. Look at this door, 1553. Okay, people coming down, so I'm going to wait for them. It's just kind of funny how there's this massive tower and then this little tiny door sort of hidden away as the entrance into it. Another crazy door here. Whoa, 1553 as well. So, maybe this is really the uh, main entrance into the you know, bottom part of the tower and then that is the way up. That is just wild. I never see my snake though. Let's uh, tackle the steps. Got a ways to go. Trippy. Looks like uh, entrance into another uh, room. Oh. probably going to be the ticket office here, or maybe not. Okay, the stairs turn into wood. Wow. This is the real deal, classic, old style, I know you can't see much, but there are these massive, like, doors, I guess more like windows, with a big cross beam. Hard to tell if those open up, but you would think so. Maybe in the summertime or something. So uh, no ticket office so far. Guess it must be higher up. Okay, we have a bell. Oh. Hello. Hello. Over then. This one's even cooler than the uh, one in uh, Pilsen. Like kind of tighter, like you could really bang your head on this thing. It's just a little more interesting construction. Okay, the big bell. Seventeen twenty three.
and the steps getting steeper. Look at this. And here's the uh, ticket counter, I guess. Part of the clock contraption. Look at how complex that is. Just to tell the time. Should I tell him that the clock is four minutes off? Don't think so, he probably knows. Okay, so this is the top. Look at that beautiful green Czech countryside. And there, Atakar Square. So I think that I got distracted when talking about the cold weather and didn't finish my thought there, which is that tomorrow the weather changes. It shows all sunshine and the temperatures warming up considerably, getting into the 60s and even upper 70s within like two or three days. So this seems to be the last gasp of winter 2024. Man, is that a chill breeze. Out there you can see the more modern part of the city. And the rivers are very close by, but I guess blocked by the uh, building. So let's get back down there, get lost in the maze, and go find the Vltava and what was the other one? Marsa, I think. Rivers. The confluence. Four thirty one. 431. So it looks like the clock is in fact correct. It was just a matter of perspective being right down at the bottom of it and then looking up and probably the uh, hands of the clock are, you know, out a little bit and so it looked like it was wrong, but it's actually correct. So that's uh, good. So this is Atakar Square, named after King Atakar, who founded the city. I really like the uh, Czech words. Zakaz, Vrstupu, Nepezpechki, Urazu. Really interesting language. Whatever that means, which must obviously mean keep out, basically. But that looks a lot more interesting than just keep out. Hotel Dvorak. These buildings are like pieces of cake. Obviously, some of them have been repainted by the looks of it, especially this one. So I recognize this uh, building from searching online beforehand. I forget if it's the city hall. Nineteen eighteen, nineteen forty six.
Here we go. One of the rivers. Zimni Stadion. I guess that must mean stadium. Look at that word. Svatojakubska. Svatojakubska. Chesta. Lovely parks. So I don't know uh, what to see on this side of the river. Just going to uh, wander. I think uh, this way, check out the park, get over there, and then get back towards the uh, city center and go uh, try to find a cozy restaurant this time instead of eating in my room like last night. Because uh, I'm already getting hungry, even though it's not even 5 o'clock. James Webb Space Telescope, NASA. And look at that. That is undoubtedly one of the most fascinating images you can see. Talk about putting things in perspective. How many light years is it from that corner to that corner? Craziness. Stars and galaxies, oh my. And nebulae. And I guess, yes, the uh, astrological signs, which I am not going to try to figure out which is which. Starting to warm up a bit with that sunshine coming out. Maybe this is the real beginning of spring. Right now. Alright, headed back to the main square. Let's look around for a nice restaurant.
Okay, well, uh, let's check the options. Got to be a nice uh, restaurant on the square. Looks like a uh, used book sale. Okay, I'm seeing a few uh, restaurant options, but uh, not quite what I had in mind. Something, you know, especially traditional looking, even if it's going to be touristy. That's the case on the main square, but uh, I love these you know, classic pub, low lighting, lots of stone or wood construction or whatever. These are more modern looking uh, places. That one closed. That one, not very interesting looking, and it says pizzeria. Maybe I'll start walking back towards my hotel and see what I see along the way. Well, we have some restaurant options here. Ola Burrito. Italska Smerzlina. I guess Italian food. Pizzetta. And Vietnamska restaurant. Vietnam food. So, uh, where's the local stuff? So I have one criticism of Chesky Budajovice, which is the restaurant scene. I guess I'm just missing something. I was starting to think maybe I'd come across a nice pub seeing the Pilsner sign, but that's like a disco something. I didn't see a single restaurant from the main square to here that uh, looked especially appealing. Here we have a kebab house. There were a few Italian restaurants. But uh, nothing local looking with you know, nice character. Maybe in another part of town. I feel that there obviously are good restaurants here, but uh, apparently I should have searched beforehand, but usually it works out just walking around, checking them out. Let's see up here. Tandoor Indian restaurants. Boo Cha Boba Bar Borshovsky Dobroti Pajaz Lanovka. Now I'm at the train station. Indica Restaurant looks like another Indian, I guess restaurant. Where is the local food? Pepe Gonzalez, Mexican bar, tequila, mojito, cerveza. Good bar. Beer. Maybe I'm supposed to have Mexican food today, which I love Mexican food. Not the worst idea in the world, but uh, let's look over on the other side of the block. 
Okay, what is this? Oh, this is that uh, Indian Samson beer. So I haven't heard of that one. Chesky Budajovice, so it's a local as well, 1795. But this is the Indian restaurant. Istro Bep Viet, another Vietnamese. So I just searched on my phone and no Czech restaurants around here. It was showing back more towards the city center. So obviously I should have looked earlier, but you know, I just thought that I would come across something in the course of uh, that kilometer walk that looked good. There is the train station. All right, fingers crossed we have a uh, Budvar sign. Hoping this is going to be like a pub restaurant. It is looking very closed off. Okay, what is this? So that bar was not a restaurant. And there really isn't a lot of selection around here, so I discovered what looks like a good hamburger place. Buddha Burgers. And I'm going for that if it actually does exist. So I'm in this mall right next to my uh, hotel. Now, just gotta find it. Maybe it's upstairs. Boom. Buddha Burgers. Just a fast food place, but uh... I saw an image of like a sign on the uh, side of the street and the burger looked good, so let's give it a try. And there we go, a pretty good looking cheeseburger there with french fries, onion rings, chipotle honey sauce, and barbecue sauce. And it was all 337 Czech Corona, that is 1437 US dollars, 1340 euros. Not exactly traditional, but looks good. That is all from Chesky. No, I forget. Buda von Nietzsche, whatever. More coming from the Czech Republic. See ya.
Buddha Jovica.